Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Annalisa and this question is how do I find the love in this situation because we all know we're supposed to find the love in everything but it's not always straightforward so this is just to give you some uh, help in, in seeking what you probably already know um, and just move forward a little bit through whatever you're going through so that um, you can transmute it, change it whatever it is uh, into into whatever you want it to be okay so four piles um just a selection of different cards in each and let's find out what's what's there Okay, hi group number one, thank you for tuning in, and I'm going to lift this up a little bit, just got a bit more perspective, and let's see what cards we've got. Okay. <clears throat> wow, okay, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot going on for you guys, I think. Um, we've got Sacred Revolution, which is Kali and Black Obsidian, so it's a pretty uh, full-on Full on energy straight away. This is intense. We've got the disruption card. We've got the raven. We've got the high priestess. We've got protection. And we've got the high priestess again, double high priestess. And we've got the five of wands, which is kind of like disruption, kind of. So it's pretty full on for you guys. There's, it's major change. It's a huge change on a on a very dramatic level that's going on. And this is what this is what the the message is is for you to be aware that this is not a kind of superficial change. This is not something light. This is not just a you know a little step into a next evolutionary circle. This is like a whole new level. It's it's absolutely huge. And it's going to bring revolution. It's going to bring disruption. It, it's going to change everything. And it has to. It's, this, it's a situation where things have to dramatically change. And it's, it's you know, kind of this, it quite likely feels like destruction. I want to say destruction. There's a lot of cards with, with a lot of black in there. A lot of um, like death symbolism with the, the skull and the raven. And... And I wonder if, if for you, if this might be a kind of um, confirmation for you that the destruction or change or whatever it is that you are going through, experiencing or potentially instigated, I feel like potentially you are even the instigator in this disruption, in this revolution, in this, this battle, whatever it is, because of this double high priestess, I feel like... You, you're getting very strong intuition. You're getting very strong guidance to do something revolutionary within your life or potentially on a larger scale. And this is confirmation that you are supposed to be doing this, that this is sacred. It's it's not um, it's not for the sake of it. You know, we've got the five of wands down here. It's very different energy from sacred revolution in the sense that this is like petty battles and, you know, just firing off each other and, and this kind of squabbling but the main energy of what you're going through is sacred revolution so I think I want to make it really clear that there may be both going on within your world there may be the kind of this kind of petty um, arguments or not petty but you know ego stuff heated stuff things that are just being thrown around that may be going on but the the overall theme of what's happening is very divinely guided because we've got, we've got the like, priestesses and we've also got the raven. The raven is about magic, about um, synchronicity. It's about it's about following your intuition. It's about reading the signs and and going with it, which is you know it's so similar to the high priestess energy as well. There's there's different options within this. It may be that you are creating it, that you are acting off some of kind of guidance which is disrupting your life. In which case, this is confirmation. This is what you're supposed to be doing, and to um, to allow for it, just allow the disruption, allow the, the 
the change, allow the breakdown, the crumbling, the destruction, whatever it is, just allow for it because this is part of the process. And and just a reminder to keep yourself protected, to keep yourself, manage your own energy, manage your own um, uh, space, the space you're in, um, keeping your space pure, your body pure, so that you allow for this to transform quickly and as easily as possibly. Um, if this is something that feels like it's happening to you, then um, again, this is just confirmation it's sacred, that it's divine, that it's here even for your protection, to protect you from something else from happening, to protect you from another uh, worse situation or something you can't see or you're not aware of down the line. Or maybe you do know, you know, you're quite likely a very psychic person or in tune person and you may be very aware of, of um, the, the need for this change. And, and I mean, that's the beauty of it. You know, there has to be sacred revolution. There has to be change that comes through on a, a very dramatic level in order to, to bring in the new, to bring in a, a new way of being, a new way of living, a new way of seeing. So, yeah, so that's, that's the message really for this group is that this is divine. Okay, this is divine, what's going on. But then there may be parts of it that are less divine that are egoic and in those instances you do need to look after yourself and to hold your ground and know know yourself it's like I feel like you're not to go into the fire energy not to go into the active yang energy this is very much about you being being along for the ride I want to say like just riding with it flowing with it just going with it and just allowing the process to unfold not becoming engaged within the the kind of discussion listening observing being present very much being present but uh not allowing yourself to kind of go into the the underworld with this okay group number one thank you so much for tuning in i hope that resonates and um i wish you like so much luck and uh, love through this situation that you know that what's the love the love is is divine love it's divine love in a um, powerful, destructive Kali is way. If you don't know anything about Kali, then she's worth looking up. K A L I, who is a, a goddess of of sacred destruction. So um, she can really help you through this process if you if you connect with um, with guides or ascended masters, that kind of thing. Then yeah, she can help you. Okay, so um, comment if you want to comment, and I'd love to hear what's going on. Otherwise, just like or subscribe and thank you for tuning in. I'll speak to you again another time. Hi, group number two. Thank you for tuning in. Let's see what we've got for you guys. So we have acceptance, Archangel Amy, Anal, Anial. I've never heard of Archangel Anor before, but he's here, or she's here, uh, Pink Calcite. I haven't, um, I have read this card, I don't think it talks about that, this Archangel, um, anyway, it's here for you, uh, this is number three, we have number 13, Solus, the Spider, 15, Earth Fairy, 27, and Sun card, okay. So, what is the love in this situation? What is the love? For? I mean, it's quite, you know, it's quite clear from Archangel Anor that it's all about acceptance and allowing, um, allowing things to be. Uh, there's, there's, um, it's, it's very much about healing, you know, about grounding and healing. There is a lot of warmth in this, actually. It's very, the energy is very, very soft and very warm, very healing and very nurturing. The Solus card is about um, the father, the warmth of the, the sun rising. The, so we've got the sun twice, essentially. We've got the dawn, uh, the dawn, sorry, here, the, the sun rising, this healing warmth of light coming through. It's a, it's a big, booming, soft, enveloping 
heat that just nourishes and protects and heals. And the sun, you know, it's the sun energy. It's that warmth, that radiance, that light. We've got here a card representing the father and a child here. So there may be some something to do with acceptance on a, a family level or with that um, with that energy of connection you know a parent child connection or feeling it, it can be with a friend or with someone else but where you you feel like um you've been cared for or you are caring for someone but i feel it's a little bit like allowing yourself to be cared for allowing yourself to be nurtured potentially by a father figure or male figure or male energy, or, or the sun itself, allowing yourself healing from the light and from the sun. Because then we have, we have the earth fairy, which is about physical health, okay, and about um, connection, connection with the earth. So it may be, you know, if you have some physical ailment, it might be about um, this being an opportunity for you to allow yourself to be helped and nurtured by others, particularly by male, um, male others, or male energy, you know, that very strong energy, it can be a female, but, but that very powerful, protective and strong energy where you're really held. Um, we've got creative projects as well, which makes me feel like there's the potential to see the situation as something that is um, is going to create some new connections or new ideas or new possibilities within your life. There's, there's a creative way to understand this, a different way to see and feel this. And it's about connection. It's about integration. Again, like this web, I'm feeling like family web or connection to others. There's something about this situation that's going to help you integrate with um, with your physical body to connect with your physical body and to connect with um, with being in the feminine I feel like allowing yourself with this acceptance card it's very feminine energy and acceptance you know it's like receptivity it's allowing which is again divine feminine so uh, and healing so it's like allowing yourself to be in the feminine healing energy and in the body Earth fairy, again, earth energy is very feminine. I think Gaia, Mother Earth, allowing yourself to be healed on a physical um, physical level. So, yeah, that's my, my message for you, group number two. It's very much about being held and healed and, um, and just keeping in mind that there is something is being connected and knitted together through this situation something is being born something is being um, planted it's like seeds are being planted it can even be if you know if this is a difficult situation it's just a reminder of this is what you don't want in life and how can you create or or that you will create what you do want that by experiencing what you don't want you know what you do want and it's a reminder to be aware of your mindset and your um your manifestation power of what you've either been creating or has, has been happening can be a karmic thing, ancestral thing that's coming through, um, but it's allowing for a new way to to connect with people and and yourself. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in group number two. I hope that helped. Please comment below and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos in the future and I hope to speak to you again soon. Hi, group number three. Thank you for tuning in. So let's see what we have for you. We have Mary Magdalene and Aqua Aura Quartz Divine Alchemy. And we have the Merlin. 
which is alchemy, justice, and balance. We've got double alchemy, and look at these colors. Look at this like color match straight away with the double alchemy. Okay, and then we have Flee the Retriever, number 41. And we have the Emperor card, and we have the Death card. Okay, how do we find the love in this situation? Okay, so um, first, like the first thing that really stands out to me, obviously the co the colors are so powerful in this. This blue color, can you see this? Like, I get my hands low enough, <laughs> but there's like there's this um repetition in just every card of the this bluish, pale blue hue. It's very very powerful, very strong, um, and feels very very healing and also this color for me is really about communication and clarity of communication and and of the mind it's of the um it's it's the element of of air and water but with this like with the merlin card and the alchemy cards it's like the um this divine mind divine mindset and really having this very much about mastery there's something about mastery with this situation because we've got the emperor card and the merlin card too which are very much strong powerful figures who um who own their environment who own their their life and what's going on what's really beautiful here is flee the retriever and this is all about what's being what's been lost as being found Okay, so it's about bringing something back, finding something back, and I love, I love this character. He's just got these such sweet eyes and so precious and delicate, holding this little, this little pearl, bringing this pearl back. You know, found this this treasure, and I feel it's about love. This is about love returning and love coming back, <clears throat> particularly with um, the divine alchemy card is about um, the the bringing together of elements to create something completely different and because we've also got the death card it's like there's been some kind of ending and some kind of change but actually what I feel that's bringing in is bringing in a lot of power and a lot of strength and a lot of certainty and clarity about moving forward and with the Mary Magdalene card as well she's um, uh, she's twin flame and ascended master and and it's about the merging together of the different elements to create alchemy. And I feel like what's happening in the situation for you to find the love is that um, the understanding of the, the process of things needing to, to die and come back. It's this cycle, but it's, um, it's allowing for, it's allowing for a very spiritual change. There's, there's a very physical element to this, the death card and the emperor, I feel they're very practical and very physical and they're very grounded elements, but the flea the retriever is very emotional and very heart-centered, and the merlin and divine alchemy are very much about ethereal and astral ways of being and understanding and working with um, the non-physical, so it's a very, um, a very broad change that's going on or situation that is evolving and it's it's working on all levels so on a mental level it's about creating balance and about creating uh creating the new you know turning the lead into gold it's about that transformation on the, on the spiritual level mental level on an emotional level it's about something coming back something being refound and on a physical level it's about finding mastery so it's working in lots of different ways but in a very peaceful way I feel such such calm energy and um like I'm feeling like the with this card it's like being in the sea and I'm seeing like dolphins swimming in the sea it's like a um you know that feeling when you you go underwater and it's like the sound is kind of softened you, you can't quite hear hear you can't hear the external and it's this peaceful kind of bubble and I feel like there is within this situation the love there is this peaceful bubble 
when you kind of put these different pieces together, these different elements together, and have an understanding of the the situation as a whole and the um, very powerful elements that are going on individually that are actually all working together to create this alchemy, to create this uh, new integration and different integration. I think there's a, a reminder in this for you to keep strong and keep focused and keep moving forward and, and planning and to be, to be very, very grounded in this, you know, um, uh, but to, you know, keep that in balance with the, all the, the chakras, you know, this is all the chakras in alignment, keeping everything. For this divine alchemy, you need to keep all chakras aligned and pure. So um, having the heart, having the heart open and receptive and allowing for, for movement and change and process within the heart and holding on to what is precious and what is dear to you. You know, you don't need to let something go. You can you can hold on to love. You know, there's, there's things we need to um, let go of and process in terms of attachments. There's lots of things that need to evolve. But the essence of divine love or pure love is always going to come back and come around and be and be held and be really precious and that's it's like that's not lost like you can still hold on to that you can still hold it <clears throat> and yeah there's a lot of power and strength i feel it's kind of subtle it's like this very um this very subtle strength and and this, this not afraid of being in the night. I feel like there's something about the stars and the night that's very powerful here. We've got that in three cards. I'm seeing the, the night sky coming up. With, um, here's like the stars and here and here. And it's like the, um, the divine timing of the cosmos, the, the movement of the stars is important within the situation. It's like it's, it's being guided by that and affected by that so it may be useful to look into the astrology that's going on at the moment collectively or for you personally and and look at the influence of the movement of the the celestial bodies on on the physical reality you know um, if you're watching this roughly when i'm putting it out it's it's going to be around the time of uranus going into taurus which is bringing great change and on a very collective level so maybe something in that for you or um or or even looking at the moon cycles can be you know when you're watching this um it, you know whenever you watch it is relevant um and there is you know this kind of a, a change shake up in in the self which which is creating a, a radical new way of, of understanding and being and keeping in alignment through through the changes is very powerful and important. And just a reminder that you you know you you have the balance, you are able to keep the balance. So um yeah so that's my message for you, group number three. I hope it resonated. Please let me know and um, thank you for tuning in and I hope to speak to you again soon. Hi group number four, thank you for tuning in. So for you, how do we find the love in this situation? So we've got a sacred pleasure which is Goddess Bastet and Cat's Eye. We have the Stag, Leadership and Pride, Risk and Birth and Rebirth. And then we have the Chariot, the Four of Cups and the Prince of Cups. So the love and the situation, excuse me, I'm just going to take a sip of tea. Okay, so, mm, interesting, 
there's definitely something about moving forward and and really bursting forward into life with all these cards, the leadership card, the chariot and risk. It's like this charging forward, being at the helm, holding on to the, the wildness of the creatures here and, and just charging forward. It's almost like the fool card, but with a bit more with with leadership, with understanding, you know, the fool is about taking a, a kind of um, complete leap of faith, but this feels like uh, it's, a, it's a leap of faith, but you've got some kind of understanding or learning that you are putting into action through through this, through your through your learning. It's like you've been through some kind of process, you've been through some kind of n renewal, um, becoming a new person, and and the, the love in this. How do you find the love in this situation? is is actually charging forward it's like it's a bit like taking action i feel like you are maybe being asked to bring the love to a situation like you are being asked to um the prince of cups card is about someone offering love offering the cup and this can be romantic this could represent a scorpio it's it's about bringing forward some kind of offering some kind of healing with the snake and and overcoming this Four of Cups energy, and that's the the sacred pleasure. Again, the sacred pleasure is about finding the joy in pain. It's about finding the the pleasure. You know, it's, it's kind of what the question is, which is um, a bit frustrating because I feel like I just repeat myself. But it's about how um, often we, you know, we go through a lot of pain in order to find pleasure, in order to find what's good, in order to really appreciate what's important in our life. So. You know that the love in this is is the kind of acceptance that that is the process that you've been through or going through or need to go through because it may be that you are uh, about to embark on something that feels very challenging and you're being asked to step up with love to step forward with love and and to really appreciate where you are I mean, that's what this four of cups energy is really about is about um finding the value either either finding the value where you are or just getting out the situation you know but there really is the ability you have the ability to find the, the gratitude and the love in anything it's again it's repetition of the question it's, it's not really an answer um so it's but it's about just appreciating where you are you know that there, there is that element of this it's like appreciate where you are and and get on with it <laughs> I hope that's not. Uh, I hope that resonates. I mean, that's that's kind of what's coming through. It's like, like I feel like if you're feeling like a bit in self pity, if you feel a bit like this character, it's basically like, you know, this is your chance to just step out of it, to just be someone new, to be reborn, to to change your perception, and just uh, like take yeah, take ownership of your life, take control of your life and and know about the joy and, and know know that the joy is is there to be found and to be had and that part of it is you bringing it is not waiting for someone else to to bring you the cup to bring you the love to take the chariot to you it's about you you standing on the mountain and you declaring this is where I want to be and if it's not where you want to be it get on your horse and go somewhere else okay um it, it's about not dwelling uh dwelling in in your own misery in your own muck it's about okay fine this is what what's happened or what's going on like i'm either going to deal with it and appreciate it or i'm going to make a change in my life i'm not going to oh, what's the word wallow that's it i'm not going to wallow in my own misery excuse me <coughs> okay so um take a chance take a risk charge forward stand on the mountain it's like get yourself out of the your own kind of uh murk and and step up you're being asked to step up that's that's the love is is this is your chance to be someone else do something else Okay, group number four, thank you so much for tuning in. I just realized I've done all these readings without my mic, so if it's a bit quiet, I'm so sorry. Um, 
thank you for tuning in please like subscribe or share or comment and uh, I'd love to hear how this resonates with your life okay thank you bye